Yo, hello everyone! Are you looking for a tool to help you stay organized and manage your projects more efficiently? Microsoft Planner is a simple and user-friendly project management tool that allows you to create, assign, and track tasks across your team or organization. In this video, we will show you how to get started with Microsoft Planner, including how to create a new plan, a task, and members, and much more. So, let's dive in and start using Microsoft Planning Planner to streamline your workflow in 2023. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First thing first, launch your browser as always. Next, go to the URL section and search for Microsoft Planner. So, Microsoft Planner, here it is, and now all you have to do is click on it, sign into your account, and get it. You can get it for iOS or get Planner for Android. It is completely up to you. So you can also download it through your Microsoft Office 365, which is really, really useful to download all the applications of Microsoft themselves. As you can see here, you will find a bunch of informations. Let me just skip this, this, and that. And here you'll find all kinds of projects that you have worked on in the applications. Here, for example, you'll find calendar, sway, to do, people, and much more. And in case you didn't find Microsoft Planner, just search here. So as you can see, Planner through your work or school. So this is the actual uh, application. Right after you connect it to WIT, they will take you to your account of Microsoft, as you can see here. So they are taking me to it. Here, let's search for it once more. So Planner, as you can see here. And now we can just get it. How we can get it? So let me just translate the page if I, this is possible. Um, I think it's going to be down below here somewhere, the language. Okay. I'm going to translate it to English, international. Here we go. So here you can find the plans and pricing. So let's see the plans for business and for enterprise. For business or the smallest business, you'll find here three or four kind of plans. The basic one, which is $6, which has no Microsoft Planner, as you can see here. There's only SharePoint, OneDrive, Exchange, Teams, Excel, PowerPoint, Word. Here for the 12 and a half bucks per month, it has no team planner. The only way to get your actual planner is simply by going to one of these, the premium or the business one. So either one of these is the one that you are looking for. But in case you didn't have it, uh, like you didn't want to get it like paid, you can use another tool that I will show you like in this video as well. So stay tuned, now we are going to go with the enterprise plans. Here, there is three other plans. The E3, F3, and the E5. The E3 will cost you about uh, $36 per month. It has all the Microsoft 365 apps, email and calendar, meet and voice, device and app management, which they will give you Windows. Here, social and interact, and finally here, they will give you work management, which is the planner. The same goes for others. The, here, the F3 is a box, but they will not give you the system windows. And for the E5, it is a customizable plan for your own enterprise. It depends how much uh, things you'd like to get. So you can just contact the support and you they will manage to create you the best offer possible for you. Now guys, let's say that you don't have really the money to get Microsoft Planner. So let's say for example, this is let me show you how it looks like. So it's going to be looking like something around this. So it's going to be like that. You can do that as well with another Microsoft application, which is called Microsoft To Do. So you can just go here and you will find it, Microsoft To Do. So I will just translate the page once more. Here we go. Um, English, English. 
All right, so here we go. Let's go with this one. And as you can see, this is simply Microsoft to do. Let me just find this over here. I think they have taken me out. So to do, and here it is. Um, I think there is a problem with the system. So let me just search for it in here. Uh, it is uh, very simple. So here we go. And this is Microsoft to do. It will come with your Office 365 once more again. So it is really, really useful. Now let me show you a brief how it's going to work. Now, if I want to Microsoft to do from here, and I try to go, for example, to a new day. So let me just go to a new day. So new list. Let me name it here, uh, whatever you'd like to name it. So planner. Here, what you could do is simply add the task that you want to add. So let me just click here. And no thanks. And here I will add the text. So task. So let me do something. For example, uh, uh, preparing. For example, or let me just make this better. Uh, wake up at six a.m. Workouts for thirty minutes. Shower. Um, I don't know what else. Breakfast. And here at 10 p.m. we have to start studying for exam um, for two for example 2 p.m. half 30 minute break and as you can see each one of these has its own settings so we're gonna go through it uh, in a moment but overall you can go through it now by your own so I will just add couple of like tasks and then I will go through them one by one in a brief of a second so here I am guys now I finished some kind of tasks now let's go to the editing of it here if I click on this one you can here add to a day to a specific day if you'd like to so here I have added it to my day which is today here you can add steps for example let's go to 10 p.m studying for example we can add here some side tasks to this task so for example in order for us to study for the exam we're gonna revise physics and then we're gonna do some exercises and then we're gonna do listen to some courses i don't know you have just like to do some extra tasks next to it here you can add the reminder so once an hour arrived they will like keep reminding you that you must do this task for example here i have done 10 pm so remind me around uh, 10 pm so you can just pick a date and time from here and choose 10 pm here you can choose if you'd like it to repeat so if you want it to repeat every day so for us now here you can assign to in this case if you were working in like a big enterprise with people around you, you will have to assign some tasks to some people. So here, for example, uh, make me a report. So this one, I will have to assign it to a person. You can here create an invitation link and give it to your uh, team members and they will be able to see this plan. After that, you can assign it to one of them. This is simply it, guys. So, yeah, guys, this is how you can get Microsoft Planner and what are the actual uh, substitutes that you can use instead of it. So, thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.